If you're following along with this same footage from editstock.com, you'll notice that there are a lot of clips that have been added to the browser. Even if you're using your own footage, you can look at the bottom to see how many clips have been added. In this case, it's 517 items or clips. And that includes the video, still images, audio clips. There's a lot of stuff here in the browser. And that can be very overwhelming, especially as a new editor, to try and go through and start to organize and pick out really specific points of these clips. So we're gonna use the library sidebar to start navigating these clips. So we're gonna see what Final Cut has done for us automatically during the import to help us organize this content. And don't worry, if you're following along with your own content, I'm gonna show you how to create these collections and groups as well. But on your keyboard, use Command and the Grave Accent, which is the one next to the number one key on your keyboard, uh, or you can go up to the top left and click on the little button to show your library sidebar. And you'll notice we have our overtime event selected here. To the left of it, there's a little drop down triangle or menu that you can click on. And what we're gonna see here is pretty cool. It's a whole bunch of keyword collections. We know they're keyword collections because they have a little key icon next to them. And these were created automatically based on the folders that these clips were stored in. If you remember, there was an overtime part one, part two, part three, all those different folders showing up when we went to import this content. Well, inside each of those folders, it was also broken up into the scene number, which there are 12 scenes, including the intro. There's the completed cut. We see the edit stock logo. There's other things that were included in those folders. And these keyword collections are essentially just groups of that content. So it makes it really nice because we can just click on scene three, for example, and now we're seeing just the clips that are assigned to scene three, which are only three clips. If we go to scene one, we can see those clips. There's 34 items for this initial office scene. And looking at 34 items or three items, is a lot easier compared to uh, 517 from all of this event. So if you have those collections that were created automatically during the import, it's gonna be a great way to use those to narrow down what clips you're looking at. So you can see the power of these keyword collections allows us to sort through our media and find very specific items based on the keywords that have been applied to them. So in the next video, let's look at how to apply those keywords so that you can start to organize your content.